so hey everyone in this video we are going to implement a very robust validation system so so far we have only been uh, doing manual validation like uh, you know checking if the username and the email is all existing or not so this is all like this the basic validation so if you want to create a very robust and a very elegant validation system for our entire backend application we might want to create a specific feature for that okay so we can just do basic validation um, just on the model level so basically the schema that is provided by mongoose so we can just say like uh, max length and then we can just provide some value like 100 so this is just like basic this is only limited just to the model and not to the global level so as i told we want to create something which is uh, which can do validation at the global level okay so for that we'll be using an external package called as zord okay so this is one of the most popular uh, the TypeScript schema validation libraries which will actually help us you know detect the types and also you know parse them so we need to define certain rules saying that the like let's say the name should be of type string and it has to have so many characters and for email it has to be type email and uh, we uh, this has to be actually an email so which we actually cannot do it uh, using the mongoose model so we can just uh, use something like uh, zord okay so that um, you know email uh, validation and all will take care by itself so only thing is we just need to provide a schema okay and then we just need to parse it so if we parse it then it will give us a result whether this data we are receiving from the user is valid or not okay so you can you might just want to consider ha having a look at this documentation which is actually a very popular library i'm sure that if you are actually working on typescript or uh, working on any kind of uh, backend application or even fr front end for that matter you might want to consider zord okay so it is worth giving a look at it so let's uh, have a look at uh, how exactly it does so it's a typescript for schema declaration not it is not just that it is used for typescript we can use it in normal javascript as well only thing is we cannot extract the types because the types will not be using in javascript so that's why it is uh, typescript uh, first schema declaration so if we have a look at its uh, basic usage so we just need to define a schema something like this okay so we just import z from zord and then let's say if you want to create a user object so we store it inside the object function which is provided by zord and then you define a schema like what type it should be like uh, z dot string and uh, then if you want to validate it you can just use parse or something called a safe parse okay which will come to that and uh, also if you want to extract the type that we defined within our zord schema we can just use z dot infer type of user and this will give us the type and we can export this and we can just use it anywhere we want where like any file or any variable if you want to declare and then assign the type to it so that will be uh, strict so if there is any violation then it will just give us a warning over there or with a red underline okay so that's why zord is very helpful and uh, you might have a question that we can just use the uh, inbuilt typescript uh, interface or type and then define our schema over there but uh, we do not have variables and types like just how um, you know zord provides us okay like the string number this are all very easy like if you want to uh, have a type of date so that is not there within the interface that we get from typescript right and all of these uh, primitives that we can use within zord so that's the only limitation when it comes to using types or interfaces inside typescript okay so these are all the variables which you can just have a look at and also there are a lot many which you can of course explore and i'm just not going to go through all of them and waste your time so let's go ahead and install this uh, zord library and create our uh, very first uh, validation middleware for our backend project so now for the current code that we have we haven't implemented any kind of validation okay so basically the user can uh, enter anything like the email that can never be in the right form okay so and also the password so this will just uh, you know do some uh, basic validation and then it will just pass so it doesn't validate that is this is an actual email or not so now if i just go to api slash user slash register and just try to register like with some uh, name like this and just give it let's say test2 and test2 at test.com okay so now you see that if i just don't give this email in the right format it would still create a record in our database okay so we are not implemented any kind of validation okay so that's why let's create a basic validator for now just to you know um, just have a look at how zord actually works and then we can uh, just try to make sure that uh, the user is passing in the right format for this particular user this uh, object okay so let's uh, now go ahead and install zord so i'm just going to open a terminal here and just do a pnpm install zord 
okay so this will be installed as a dependency and now we can just uh, just create a schema file just right next to the user or if you want you can just uh, you know create a folder called user and there you can just place the routes and the schema right next to that so just for the sake of now i can just create a user schema dot ts file okay and here uh, as i told we just need to import the zord object okay so we just need to import z from zord okay so now we can just create a basic user so for now we can just say uh, we can just create a variable called user login schema and then we can just uh, uh, use the z dot object and this is a function which will provide an which we need to provide an object where with uh, all the other properties that are required for this uh, user object so the first thing is the email right so email and this is going to be of type string so to define the type we say z dot string and we just need to call this function like this so everything are like functions and uh, in order to add in specific types for this email or specific conditions so we can just chain in the types okay or methods so we can also like let's say this has to be of type email okay so and also if you want you can just pass in a message like this uh, inside this we can just say of uh, message saying that invalid email okay and the next property which we want is the password okay so password will also be of type string okay so we can just say z dot string like this and now once our users login schema is defined we can just uh, export it and then we can just use it wherever we want to actually use it okay so let's go to the user uh, controller where we are actually uh, you know doing the validation like where the email and password which we are extracting from the request body like we can just import the user schema user login schema and here we can just do parse okay and then pass in our email and password like this okay and here we can just get the result or we can just say data so there are two types over here one is parse and one is safe parse okay so parse will actually just throw an error so if the type doesn't match so safe parse is basically it doesn't throw an error but it will just say success uh, to false okay so you can either use parse or safe parse based on your requirement so i'm just going to use uh, safe parse here so basically we are all handling the error customly over here so that's why uh, we can just use safe parse and just check if that uh, you know user details are correct so we can just say if the parse if the data dot success if that is a falsy value then we just want to throw new bad request error basically the same thing over here okay so or we just don't need this so this will handle internally by this custom error handling uh, class that we created in one of those videos so now if i just save this so now if i just try to log in with the right email and password so i will be able to log in okay so don't get confused by this email and password validation if uh, the user is providing the right email and password so that is handled by ourselves this thing so we are actually doing it manually so only thing is the zord actually does the type checking if this is a string or if this is the right email so if i just give it a wrong email format we might get an error over here and say that bad request invalid user credentials okay so this is how uh, zord actually helps us okay so in order to you know use the types that are uh, that zord provides us and then we can just utilize them to our benefit so this is all about zord now using zord we can create a custom validation middleware so that we can just uh, use it within any route that we want okay and this is going to be very generic and uh, we can just provide it certain types that it has to parse and uh, based on those types it will just validate and it will decide whether to throw an, throw an error or not based on the input parameters okay so let us now go ahead and create that uh, validation middleware and uh, yeah of course i've just used it uh, done this only at the login level you can also do the same for the register as well so let's now go ahead and create a uh, file for helpers so basically something that um, does some help right like for the validation like uh, for that so we can just create a file over there called as validator.ts and over here we can just create our custom validator so basically whatever the function i create here will be applicable for this routes so basically user routes so before like uh, let's say going to login it has to act as a middleware and then go to slash login okay 
So basically we just want to provide a middleware here by calling the validator function which we will be creating and then it will uh, once that succeeds it will just go to the login uh, route okay if not it will just throw the error there itself so we just want to modify this later so let's first uh, build the validation function so i'm just going to call this uh, validate request okay so this is going to take in uh, few parameters so first is the schema basically the schema that we will be providing from the routes itself okay so basically the schema that we uh, we created right for the user and there we'll just uh, pass it in inside the validator function so that's what we will be expecting over here inside this function so let's call this uh, the schema and this is going to be of type the zord schema so basically uh, the schema that is provided by Zord has its own type over here which we can assign and the second parameter which we are going to receive is the source okay so basically from where are we actually getting the user input from is it from the body the query parameters or anything else okay so that's why we can just provide source and here we can just uh, provide a specific enum type so which actual source is it coming from so we can just uh, you know create a enum right over here and we can just export it if we might want to require it from anywhere else so let's call this validation source okay and this is going to um, take in the key value pairs like the first one is the body and we just set that equal to the string body okay so like let's say this is the source right so when we have a middleware over there we have three parameters right Re request re response and the next function so inside request itself we have the uh, request dot body okay so that's why we want to set here over here so whatever the source is so if we if it is a query param then we just want to set rec dot query and you get the idea right so that's why the first one is body and the second one is let's say query and I'm writing caps because these are all constants and you're not allowed to change and this is going to be query okay and the third one is going to be header okay header and setting this to header and finally we have the param okay all right so once we have defined our validation source we can just assign the type of fit like this okay so once that's done we can now go inside this body and inside this will return another function with all those three parameters that uh, usual express middleware actually works right the request response and next so we can just say rec and response and next so this is the callback function which we are actually using and uh, this is we just need to return this and let's also specify the types for this which is of type request which is coming from express and let's do the same for response and next so inside this let us open a try catch because this will actually return a promise when we use the parse function from zord so if you remember we use this parse and it will just throw an error so if it throws an error it will just have an error object with all the different errors over here okay so that's why uh, we are using it inside a try catch and let's uh, first uh, extract the data whatever we are uh, after we parse whatever we get so we can just say schema dot parse not save parse this time because we just want to make it throw an error for the validation fails so we can say the request object and as i told it has a property whichever the validation source it is coming from that we want to validate so we just want to do it for the body and we can pass in the source so whatever is coming as an input for this function and by default we can you know set this to uh, validation source dot body so basically uh, if nothing is provided it will just take from the body so this is the reg dot source so it's being error here uh, sorry this is params so once it parses without any errors so we just want to assign that to the actual um, object request object for example once the user logs in so we just want to store the user object inside the request object right we can do that by object dot assign so this is going to assign a particular key value pair inside an object existing object so for that we can just uh, set a property called reg dot actual the actual source so basically it can be anything the user or um, anything which you want to store and then pass in data okay so this is like just a simple middleware if you would have seen previously we are just doing manually like the token that we were receiving from the user and uh, if um, the once the user logs in 
So if it is a success, then we just store the token, right? So we are just doing everything within this validate request function, okay? So once uh, we do that, we finally called next, okay? So basically to go to the next middleware if there is any. So if there is any error, so basically if this fails, so we just we just want to throw an error. So basically we, um, the error that is thrown from the Zord uh, validation library will contain an error, Will sorry, will contain an errors array okay so if there are multiple errors so we can just check if it is actually an instance of a zord error okay so it can be a zord error or it can be an internal server error or anything so basically we just want to do the check there itself so if this error we can just call this error for distinguishing so if error is an instance of the zord error which we can actually import zord error then we just want to um, like you know construct our custom message and saying that error so this has a property called errors okay and this is an array so we can just map across it and for every error so we just want to um, this has a property called message so this actually this is a typescript library right so this will also give us some suggestions so if you don't have any idea about that okay okay so we just want to join all of them uh, into a string by a comma separated because who reads an array so it would make sense to add a comma in between the error messages and then we just want to return by calling next okay so return and calling next so if we provide a value inside that which means that there's an error and we just want to create an instance of the new bad request error why bad request error because the validation that the user is uh, passing basically the all of these are user inputs right so if any one of this is uh, falsy or if it doesn't pass then it's a bad request error right so that's why bad request and then we can just pass in the message over here so finally if this is not a sort error then we just called next and pass in the error itself okay this actual error okay so this is all about the validate request um, function and we can now finally export this okay so we can just do a default export okay so now we can just go ahead and import this wherever we are defining our routes okay so for example let's go to the user routes before calling our login user controller we can just call the validate uh, the validate request function okay so let's call validate request and as it when you hover on this it will just uh, show you what things that we need to pass so one is the schema and then the source okay so the schema is actually the user schema which we can actually auto import user login schema and then the source okay so the source is going to be body right so we can just do the validation source that, that uh, we exported right within the same file and then we can just say dot body okay so as simple as that so this is the all about validate request we are just implemented at for the login route we can also do the same for register and logout route okay? and all the other api routes that we keep building okay so now let's give this a test okay so let's go back to postman now and then let's check if everything is working as expected yes it does so now if i just try to invalidate the email and that works as well okay so we have currently implemented a global validation library so basically validation middleware where we can just uh, use in any of our routes by just uh, passing in the login schema and then the source okay so we are just made it very generic so that in any api routes that we build so we just pass in the schema and the source and then that will take care by itself so this is all it for this video guys so i hope you like this video and the kind of design that we built so far so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video